What's going on YouTube? I'm Foxe. I've been a pro player for eight years and today I'm going to show you guys how to defend border properly so you can win all your border games. I'm a part of one of arguably the best border teams in the world. We've played at a bunch of places, most notoriously at Invite 2023 where we 7-0 W7M on it. We're really good at the map, so just trust me, I'm going to lead you to the light. All right, so to get into it, border's got four bomb sites, right? Archives Armory, that'll be the top floor bomb set on the second floor. You'll have Workshop Ventilation, you'll have Bathroom Tellers, and you'll have Supply Customs. Now, just right off the rip, some people may say that Armory Lockers is the best site on this map. It's the easiest one to win, it's the most consistent. That's wrong. That's just simply wrong. That's what a lot of ranked players and, uh, you know, ranked people will try to lead you to believe that Archives, the top floor site, is the strongest site. I'd have to disagree. In my opinion, the strongest site is Vent Workshop, right? Now, with that being said, the worst site on this map is obviously going to be Customs uh, and Supply, but you know how it is. I'm going to show you guys all four sites. So to start off with it, we're going to go top down. We're going to do Archives Armory first. All right, so to start off, this is how you're gonna want the top floor site to look. Uh, you're gonna see some maybe questionable openings, some questionable holes, and you're gonna be scratching your head thinking, why am I doing this? So first up, the armory wall. I know this is gonna be daunting to some of you, especially uh, those in the lower ranks. I promise you, if once you see the whole setup, this is going to be how you want to play it. So obviously, armory wall is very difficult to get when you completely close both walls up, right? The reason why we're leaving it up, though, is because with the assistance of just a bulletproof camera or a maestro, this angle is one of the most devastating angles for an attacking player to fight. Uh, it's very defender sided, especially when the repel lines are up. If you got a crack shot and you see that repel line and you're just holding it, it's going to be an easy kill. And like I said, with that bulletproof, giving you free info on this uh, bookshelf. This bookshelf can see all the way down the hall before a player even gets into the vicinity of fighting you. So you just play behind this locker off the BP and you can just swing off of it for free kills. So that's why you're gonna wanna keep this wall open. Also, closing it off just makes it easier for attackers to run up to it, maybe run around and wrap CC. And with this setup, you're gonna see that we're actually gonna have holes and rotates in CC. So you're gonna to wanna to keep this open so that you can support your CCTV player on that side. If you follow me to the next spot, we're gonna have feet holes in the back archives wall and we're gonna have hip to head holes in the right side of the archives wall. So the reason you want feet holes on the left is because one, if a team goes for a fast plant back archives, you know, you're able to get a, a favorable angle uh, on the curve position, even from all the way back into armory, you can pretty much stop that plant. And it's very difficult for them to fight back with these holes obviously you could get unlucky wall bang but th that's a better angle for you and then same thing goes for the window right if you can play and watch the window spot or play from super far back it's really hard for them to see you compared to how easy you can see them and on the right side the head level holes this fight is a super long fight you don't want to put feet holes on this wall so if you're sh fighting anybody over by dome side or you're looking through these holes over by dome you're going to want to keep head level holes here and now in archives, you're just going to have a pretty standard two wall set up on archives and you're going to have the feet hole over by the, the last archives wall going into fountain so that you can have a nice little crossfire with your teammate who's going to be playing in fountain. Fountain is one of the hardest spots on border armory to take. Uh, it's very uh, secure, very tightened up. So with the wall that we're going to add on to here, you're able to have a player in fountain and a player in archives and have a perfect crossfire off of each other. And you're going to see there's going to be two rotates going out into the hall. These two rotates are going to go into CC. And this is where your fourth player is going to be playing. He's going to have E-box control. And just like I said, those armory holes are going to support your player in this position. He's going to have full info of anybody coming behind him on the CCTV back door, on the CCTV window. And all he has to focus on, all this guy has to focus on is just watching break door, right? And there's a lot of favorable angles for you to be able to take to contest this guy. Guy, um, get a nice little angle onto the break door and shut it down just so you guys are following we should have one guy maybe armory one guy e-box one guy archives and one guy found that's four right so as long as you have that good little square that square kind of setup in the bomb site, one CC one fountain you know what I'm saying if you visualize it it's kind of like a square if you have that locked down 
almost every single angle is covered or watched by a teammate and you're creating so many crossfires and lockdowns for your teammates that it's very easy to just defend this bomb site like that. Now, finally, the last guy I want to mention is the dome player. This is obviously going to be like your bread and butter spot. A lot of players love playing in this dome area and just locking it down, especially with the wall reinforced over by taco. Some people call this taco. Some people call this hard sandwich. You know, this spot is one of the hardest spots as well to clear out. So if you're able to stall some time with a guy in this position and then he runs back to fountain and stall even more time in fountain, you're sitting pretty good. Now, you'll notice we got three walls left. That's up to that's up to you know your flavor, whatever you want to do. I I know some teams completely reinforce off the triple wall. Some teams reinforce off only one wall. Uh, some teams like to reinforce off you know maybe more walls over by E so that you can't get wall banged. You know anything with these last three walls is going to be preference. You just need the seven. You know the ones where I laid out the two archives walls, the fountain walls, the armory wall, the CC walls. If you get those walls down, you'll be looking pretty good on this mob site. Next, let me take you to the best site on the map, Vents Workshop. All right, so the Vents bomb site is set up and you're gonna be asking yourself, there's no walls. What's going on here? The site's looking pretty bare. So bear with me here. The, the key and the ideology with Vents bomb site is you can stop almost every plant from above. If you just have a couple, you know, pre-placed holes, a couple shotgun holes, you can pretty much stop and deny every plant from above. Therefore, the site is pretty secure in itself. So you don't need that many reinforcements down here to be able to sit comfortably downstairs. So you're gonna see we got the default rotate from uh, server into uh, vents. And then you're gonna have feet holes on one side to see the window jump in. Very favorable fight for you if they jump in the window. And then you're gonna wanna have some type of like head holes on the left wall so that you can stop anybody or shoot anybody that's planning behind this desk. That being said, on the other side of the site, you are gonna have one wall down here over by blue so that nobody by the teller's window or by tellers on that side of the wall can just spam through and get you in sight. And you're gonna put a rotate here. So many rank players are using all their walls in sight to completely close off bathroom, to completely close off these blue custom walls. Please don't. All you gotta do is make a little rotate and just have somebody play here. If you have a teammate post down, a lesion, anybody post down in this area, you now can save yourself six, seven walls that you can put elsewhere instead of having to reinforce this completely off. It's the biggest waste of utility. It's so difficult to get bathroom and tellers. The only spots you can come from is one window and one door. So like I said, if you got a lesion here, anybody playing in this position, paying attention to those two things, you're saving yourself utility. You're saving yourself the worry of also getting shot on the back and you can solidify maybe somewhere else now that somewhere else i'm talking about is going to be the top floor that's what you're going to want to hold down your bread and butter for this strat making it so good i'll show you in armory you're going to double reinforce the armory walls this time so that you can secure it off and then you're going to reinforce that curve wall that on the armory strat i told you to make holes in now, I know it may seem confusing. Sometimes you're opening it, sometimes you're not. Armory is fully closed. Back archives is fully closed, right? So the idea with this is we aren't holding CC like we are on the armory strat. You're not extending into CC side. You're not putting a player there, a body there. You're just trying to hold up top. And the main focus is keeping this armory wall closed because if you lose this armory wall and you lose armory and you can't play that top down position to stop the plants, a player can just post up outside armory, go for a default plant, and if you don't have the holes above or you don't have the possibility to be able to stop plants, it's gonna be very difficult for you to win the round. So that's why you just wanna fortify this spot up and try to completely deny the walls or play different angles. And the same thing goes for the opposite side over in archives. You know, we're gonna have the same setup for from the armory one. You have the two reinforcements in fountain to secure the guy in fountain, two reinforcements archive, and then you're gonna have the nice little feet holes to have a good crossfire with your fountain player and be able to lock it down. You don't gotta worry about anybody getting caught off guard. You got your two players focused on fountain and back archive, and then you got maybe a player in armory paying attention to the armory wall. One little trick for this site, if you guys are still watching, you know, make sure to comment this down if you guys have if you guys have seen this position and this trick before. But some good common holes I'm going to show you guys. There's one right here. This will be able to see pretty much all event. So you can see 
from without exposing to the armory wall you can see arguably the two best default plant spots that's right below the window on vent and then right here you can also uh completely see behind the desk it's not the prettiest hole right now but if you wanted to sharpen it up you know you're able to see a lot more of the site from up here and be able to shut down some you know very difficult plants to stop with the armory wall open if the armory wall is closed hey make some holes up here you know get comfortable with the floor that's for vent plant spots and then on the opposite side of things the most common spots for planters to plant back in workshop uh is one this spot will see a dark corner or light corner or whatever you guys call it that is where the saw is that's a very common spot that people plant so that's a nice little hole that you can make you know just so everyone sees you know when you walk in the archives to the left nice little hole you'll be able to see it and then from the hatch you can pretty pretty much see everything else except for this corner so you could easily just make you know a nice little hole right there and with those three holes you can pretty much see almost every plant spot uh, on server so why wouldn't you want to hold the top floor you know what i'm saying this is the best site on the map in my opinion so if you guys run it like this if you guys make those pre-placed holes and if you just focus on playing that top floor i promise you it's gonna go way smoother in your rank games on to the next site All right, so we got the third best site on this map, Bathroom Tellers. Some people abbreviate it by just calling it BT. And it's kind of the similar concept with your events bomb site. Uh, you're not really holding the site per se. You're more or less holding around it. So you're not going to see too much setup in the site but your support player is going to have to make a ton of holes. You're going to have to put in that work, whoever that guy is. You know, even if usually the support players are the bottom frags, you got, you got to show that guy some love for the work he'd be doing. Just to start off, you're going to see you're going to have your rotate to your window and your feet holes right by the, I guess, default plant spot, I would call it. And then you're going to have a rotate into workshop. We're going to get there in a second. Uh, you're going to want to put head holes all along this wall. And the only wall you're going to get in sight is the left teller's wall so that teams can't just sledge through it. They, you want to force them to jump in this window. And I'm going to show you guys why in a second. So you have the rotate and the head holes into workshop server. And you're going to reinforce four walls, reinforce all events off to workshop. And now this is going to make you a little safer inside workshop. And I'm going to show you exactly why you reinforce that window and you make them jump in. So if you have a nice little 1.5 or if you think you're a crack shot from this position, you can stop pretty much everybody trying to get into the bomb site, right? So you can stop the window jump in. You can stop teller's window jump in when he vaults you're going to see his head vault right in this corner right when somebody vaults this left window and then also you know if somebody jumps in the right window all of his walls are open so he's going to have to run across your peripheral vision you'll be able to see him and you can just adjust micro adjust to him and get that kill as you're coming across you'll be able to see all three windows entrances into tellers it's an amazing spot if you want to be the turret here as a rook or doc you know you'll just sit here and you'll just get kills for days and then your last set of walls are going to go upstairs and you're going to bunker up up top as much as you can but not where you might think for bathroom this is the common misconception that i always see ranked players play is they're putting the walls on armory they're putting the walls in customs they're putting the walls in in cc this is how you're going to want to hold the top side of the bathroom. The rest of your walls, besides those five in sight, your other five will go up here. So same concept. You want to lock down this found area. It's super hard to take, very difficult for teams to get you out of these corners. And you're going to want to use your uh, one of the walls on the left archives wall, you know, coming into fountain or a fountain going into archives, the left wall so that you can easily play in this corner very securely, very comfortably. And it's a, it's a favorable fight for you. If they have to swing this desk, right? They have to swing this desk. They have to swing through feet holes that you can make. You can put head holes in this wall. You can put more feet holes in that wall. You know, they have to cross all the way into the open of where your teammates should be playing, right? you you should have a teammate somewhere by taco locking down or helping the crossfire. And you're going to see the last wall that you put down is in taco so that you can have another player bunkered up in a position. These feet holes, very scary for an attacker. I know it's scary as a defender to have these feet holes, but to be honest, there's not many areas as an attacker that you can take fights 
into dome from here. And I'm gonna show you guys what the angle's like on the other side. As an attacker, you're coming in. Look at that. You can't really see much. Obviously, I made the hole a little higher than it needed to be, but you can't really see much off these holes. If anything, you gotta worry so much about, you know, somebody on the other side of these holes. You know, even if you crouch, you can't really see them. You'd have to really go prone to kind of get a sight line into dome. So these holes are scarier for the attacker than they are to defender. And at the end of the day, these holes are just there to uh, kind of like wave off attackers from helping or pushing, or it, it funnels them into coming down this hallway, which should be your next course of action of what you're holding. And you can just post up, you hold that top floor site. Even if you lose top floor, it doesn't matter because remember that turret guy downstairs in vents? He's going to be the guy that's going to farm all those kills for you when they hit the site. So you just want to stall time up here as much as you can. And that's how you win the bathroom tellers consistently. Depending on who you ask, this is the worst site on the map. I'm going to take you guys to customs and show you guys your best bet at defending it. All right, and so customs is set up. So I'm gonna show you guys now. You just wanna be able to get your four walls in sight. And this again, it's a first floor bomb site on border. So you're obviously gonna be holding the floor above it. You're not really holding the site so much. It's kind of the, the theme for the map. And so obviously you're gonna use your two walls uh, on passport so that no one can just sludge it through or run in or anything. Obviously a team can thermite it, but you can impact uh, trick through the top you can manage trick whatever you guys how to do uh, and then your other two walls are going to go on detention same thing you want to waste at least hard breach gadgets out of the attacking team if they want to get these walls open some teams will just neglect it especially in rank they won't even get it open so might as well just put those four walls there again your support player is going to be doing heavy duty work uh, you want feet holes all along the bottom of this wall and then a rotate in the middle and so the feet holes are pretty much to deter people from jumping in because again it's kind of like that same ideology they can't use them as good as you can use them in customs right there's a lot of positions that you can play and get you know far deeper angles into the bomb site that's safer uh and they're, they're pretty much jumping in let's say someone jumps in this window you know you got so many holes that you got to worry about there's no real safe plant spots um you know the safest spot that you can plant is there but i'm going to show you guys a trick to stop these plants off from above later so if you just follow me the next set of walls you're going to want to completely lock off is this fountain area and then you know, your default break and uh, e-box uh, wall so that you can have a player playing inside this spot. Now, I didn't make all of the holes that you could in CC. I didn't open up the hatches, obviously, but you can just as easily stop plants with a couple holes, just like the vents and uh, server bomb site. So one, one hole over here can stop the window plant, can stop the plants anywhere on those bombs. You know, you can play everything from above. So if you want to get a sight on, on detention, you know, detention's right at the corner of the CC table. Um, obviously, this hatch, if they get the wall open, this hatch can completely lock off, you know, anybody walking in through Passport. So there's a lot of holes and there's a lot of different angles that you can create from the top down in CC. CC is going to be your friend here. If you want to win this bomb site, you're going to have to fight for up top in CC. You're going to have to win CC more than you lose it to be able to win this bomb site consistently. Again, it's one of those sites that, you know, you're going to be fighting a lot if you want to win it, right? And you may be saying, well, like, I feel like you're missing something. You know, you're playing in CC, you're playing with those holes, wouldn't an attacking team come push you up top? Yes, they would. And so that's why you want to have at least two people here, maybe one by the horseshoe and then one by E-Box, right? And then remember what I talked about on the armory bomb site? You know, we're extending into CC. So what does that mean if we're extending into CC? I'm going to take you guys over to armory. It means we're opening up the armory wall. You put a BP up on this bookshelf. You can see down the hallway and you get an easy lockdown. You're able to help your teammates again play off the BP. You see somebody, you can swing out, take that fight comfortably, and you're able to give that little bit more security to your teammates in CC knowing that you can watch their CC uh, back door and their CC window. And then your last two walls, will go into archives just so that if a team does push your armory player out he is the isolated one out teams may try to sneak up on you they may try to come through the back you just want to reinforce both walls off so that it funnels them through this little door forces them into a like a you know claustrophobic angle little 1v1 and you know let the better player win i wish you luck on this bomb site if you can win this bomb site good for you again it's the same thing for the oregon uh dining kitchen strat it's one of those sites where if you want to go to it give the give the game a different look a lot of teams don't attack this site regularly so they might not know exactly what to do against it so that's where you'll have your upper hand right but if you're running this as one of your mainstays that's where it's going to fall down it's going to fumble um, but i hope i gave you guys a good base for this one
And with that last bomb site being done, that is the full map. That's all four bomb sites. I hope I gave you guys some good concrete blueprints to follow. And I hope you and your rank stacks win a lot more based off these defaults. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support. Let me know what maps you guys want to see next. Again, I can do them all, but you guys got to let me know which ones are more important, which ones you want to see first. Uh, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know if there's anything that I can improve on, anything that you would like to see. And uh, I'm really trying to take this content thing serious so just any type of feedback any advice i see all your guys' messages and i appreciate the support so thank you guys so much i'll see you in the next one